just a quick look at this <clears throat> little text here, brothers and sisters. He saved others. Himself he cannot save. If he be the king of Israel, let him now come down from the cross and we will believe him. See, they were mocking. But look at this, brothers and sisters. Uh, the thieves, plural, also, which were crucified with him, cast the same in his teeth. Both of them. Both of them of the uh, thieves that were crucified with Jesus at this point in time were in agreement with this mocking of Jesus. Which tells me, brothers and sisters, that something happened to one of these uh, individuals. I'm going to look that up in just a second here. What happened? Well, uh, what happened? What was the, what happened in that short period of time? And here we have this other account where it says, and one of the malefactors which were hanged railed on him, saying, If thou be Christ, save thyself and us. But the other answered, rebuked him, saying, Dost thou not fear God, seeing thou art of the same condemnation? And we indeed justly. So he's repentant. This is a repentant man. For well, we receive the due reward of our deeds, but this man hath done nothing amiss. See, he's taken up for Jesus. And he said unto him, Lord, here he is calling Jesus Lord, remember me when thou comest into thy kingdom. And Jesus said unto him, Verily I say unto you, this day shalt thou be with me in paradise. So, brothers and sisters, here is what I believe to be what the new birth occurred in this short period of time in the twinkling of an eye and one of the male factors were born from above this is what i believe we're taught in john 3 the wind bloweth where it listed and that's i believe that's what he was telling nicodemus and see nicodemus was beginning to see too no man you must be born again to see the kingdom of god so one of these male factors saw the kingdom of God. They saw he was thinking clearly. But over here, just a few minutes before, or hours, or short periods of time, couldn't have been very long, he was in agreement with the others because he was not born from above. And this is what happens to every child of grace at God's appointed time. The Holy Spirit, like the wind, blows your way. And you're quickened from above and brought to life. And you can see the kingdom of God. He was beginning to see the kingdom of God. Just wanted to bring this little thing to you. Maybe somebody out there has never seen this. But both of the male factors were in agreement at one point here. So something happened. And I'm putting it to you that the new birth happened. Not making a decision. Not accepting... <laughs> Not walking an aisle. Now, it was a supernatural event that happened uh, to, the, to this chosen child of grace. And his appointed time just happened to be a few seconds before, a few minutes or however how long it was, before he died. So I just want to point that out to you. That uh, I'll give you, I'm giving you one example where uh, the, where. Uh, The new birth, I believe, occurred. And in John 3, we're given a, a beautiful account of it with Nicodemus, where he, uh, he, there's a comparison made to our natural birth so that you would see that we have no say in the matter of the new birth. Anyway, just want to come on and show you my thoughts on this. Didn't want to make this too long a video, but 
No, both of them were in agreement at one time, brother and sister. And you were too. You was over there railing on Jesus, or, or you were you were uh, just like all the rest. And then and God had mercy on one of these malefactors, and he was beginning to see. Nicodemus, you're beginning to see. <laughs> you must be born again. And brother and sister. They preach you I get on there like there's some kind of handle you can put on being born again or something to do to cause it to occur. No, brother and sister. You had no say in your natural birth, and you have no say in the birth of the and the new birth, which is totally one hundred percent from above. Anyway, don't my, <laughs> I don't wanna make this one too long, but uh this morning, that was a thought I had on my mind while I was having my coffee this morning. It is very good. Anyway, peace and love, my old boy down here in Alabama. Just want to let you know what I was thinking this morning. It's a wonderful thing. See, all your loved ones that have gone before, they could have been railing on you. God, you know. They were an enemy of God at one time. You don't know what happened in those passing moments into eternity to some of your loved ones. That in their lifetime, they were just plain out sinners, just like you and me. Peace and love, brothers and sisters, from this old boy down here in Alabama.